All right, this is the last video in our weak acid strong base titration uh, series. So what we want to do is we just want to find the pH um, once we've added more NaOH uh, than we needed for the equivalence point and have passed the equivalence point. So in that case, we're going to say we're going to be adding 120 milliliters. So first of all, let's find out how many moles, again, of each thing we have. So we have 0 0.1 moles per liter times 0 0.12 liters. And this is going to give us 0 0.012 moles of NaOH. All right, and for acetic, again, we know we have 0 0.2 molar times 0 0.05 liters. This is giving us 0 0.01, oops, 0 0.01 moles of um, not NaOH, that's CH3, COOH. Okay, so looking at this right away, we can see that acetic acid now, once we're past, once we're past the equivalence point, that acetic acid here is going to become our limiting reactant. We have less moles of it, and it's reacting in a one-to-one -one ratio. So knowing that, let's go here and make our table, initial change and equilibrium concentrations. NaOH, and again, so not concentrations, we're using moles in this case. Uh, so NaOH, we're using 0 0.012 moles. Acetic, we have 0 0.01. We start with no products, and we don't look at water. Okay, so here we know we can react 0 0.01 moles of our stuff together. So it'll be minus 0 0.01, minus 0 0.01, and plus 0 0.01. Okay, so when we go and do this, um, our equilibrium moles here for NaOH are going to be equal to 0 0.002. Here we'll have 0, and here we'll have 0 0.01. All right, so now what we want to do is, looking at this, this is our equilibrium you know, stuff that we have in our beaker. We have 0 0.002 moles of NaOH, a strong base. And we have 0 0.01 moles of NaCH3COO, which is actually our weak base. So um, just something to note here is what we want to do is this OH concentration here um, from the dissociation in water is definitely going to be like way override any amount here that we're getting, um, for example. So we're not actually going to have to look at this. I'll tell you right now, I did this before. And uh, the dissociation, disassociation, or uh, sorry, just like the mixture of this with water, um, we're going to get an OH concentration off of this um, that's going to be about 2.4, here we go, 2.4 times 10 to the negative 6 molar. That's a whole lot of zeros. Um, so we'll just keep that in mind, but we're not actually going to consider this in our final answer at this, you know, at this level. So... What we need to do then is we need to find the concentration here of our NaOH in our final solution. So it's going to be equal to 0 0.002 moles over, well, how much, how many liters did we have? We had 120 plus 50 milliliters. This will be 0 0.17 liters. And when we multiply that out or divide it out, I guess, we will get 0 0.011767 molar. Okay, cool. So again, ignoring that there's this small amount of weak base here, what we can do is we can write the dissociation of our NaOH. Um, so we have NaOH is going to just straight up go into Na plus and OH minus. And we know that the, the molarity here is 0 0.011 Seven six um, moles per liter of NaOH, and this is all one to one ratios. So we're going to get zero point zero one one seven six moles per liter of OH minus. Now you can see here that we had zero point zero one one seven six moles per liter of uh, OH minus here. Here we're looking at something more like zero point zero 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 zero. Two four moles per liter. So anyways, this number is like insanely small, and uh, it's not going to show up even when we round this. So that's why we just kind of cut it out at the beginning. 
Okay, so knowing that, we can find POH. We have POH is going to be equal to the negative log of our OH concentration here, which is 0 0.01176. And then the answer to this negative log of this value here, we're gonna get 1.93. So now we can find our pH of our buffer solution here that's in our beaker is gonna be equal to 14 minus our pOH. So it's 14 minus 1.93. And we're gonna find that our pH in our solution after we've titrated all this stuff is gonna be equal to 12 0.07 makes sense we've added a lot of base so the pH should be high and it's up to you really if you want to consider this um, this value is just so small we would have it would have got rounded out anyways and we'd still end up with 12.07 so that's why I just didn't bother considering it so anyways with that said that sums up our weak acid strong base titration series